welcome back to the channel. So, we're officially entering the holiday season. This is one of my favorite times of the year. I just love it. Everything's so holly and jolly and happy and ooh. So yeah, I get really excited for this time of year. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you would know, okay? Your girl loves the holiday season. Yes, I do. But what also comes with holiday season is um, the holiday eating. You know what I'm saying? Your girl does go all out, but I just figured I would throw out there that there's a few guidelines, okay, that I follow when it comes to this time of the year to kind of keep that healthy lifestyle going even through the holiday season when it becomes very, very difficult because you got a lot of <laughs> the deliciousness just kind of surrounding you at all angles. I thought today I would share with you guys a few little tips and tricks, things that I follow. I came up with five solid uh, things that I like to keep in my mind when it comes to this time of year. So I hope this video can help some of you out there who are just trying to enjoy but keep a balance of also having you know health be your main priority so here we go let's just get into it but if you're not already please do consider subscribing because i do make new videos every single week let's do this okay so the first thing that i like to keep in mind is when i'm going to be eating foods that i normally typically wouldn't okay so thanksgiving christmas I like to keep them in the back of my mind and make sure that during that week, that's the only cheat meal that I have. So if I know I'm going to be visiting family, Christmas day, I'm going to be eating, that whole week, other than Christmas day, is clean eating, okay? All about balance. You don't want to plan a cheat meal a day before, two days before. You just wanna start eating your vegetables, eating things that are gonna help you feel good so that when it comes Christmas day and you do indulge, it doesn't put you into a really difficult slump that's harder to get out of after the holiday season, okay? This is all about just being able to kind of have a balanced lifestyle so that you don't completely fall off and ruin all of the progress that you've made during the year. So that is tip number one, is to just plan your cheat meals, your indulgences, Spread it out so that it's not touching the days you know you're gonna be indulging, like Christmas Day and Thanksgiving. The whole week of Thanksgiving's clean, light eating for me, and Thanksgiving Day, game on, baby. That's my cheat meal. Mm. Okay, tip number two is to find healthier alternatives when baking. If you're anything like me, the holiday season just means baking, okay? There's nothing like getting toasty and baking some goodies while it's snowing outside. That is something that I like to do a lot, all right? And that can add up, you know? You can't just deprive yourself completely from things you enjoy. So better yet, find healthier versions and alternatives. Um, I will be filming a video on healthier like Christmas cookies and things like that coming up. James will be in it, it'll be fun. It's really healthy to find those alternatives so that you're not just indulging every single day because that is where the pounds will just really pack on fast and you will feel it. There's a lot of really good recipes online that will use, say, natural honey instead of straight table sugar, things like that. So stay tuned, we will be filming a video like that. For the most part, since baking is such a big staple piece in the holiday season, I just find healthier versions so I could still enjoy, watch Christmas movies, eat some cookies, and it's not a huge difference. Of course, it'll taste healthier, but your body's also gonna feel a lot better. You're not gonna feel so bogged down. You're gonna actually enjoy the Christmas season a little bit more, in my opinion. Okay, so tip number three is a pretty big one. This is something I didn't realize I did until I thought about it. <laughs> so when it comes time to eat, all the goodness for example thanksgiving day you got that buffet up in there you're looking at all the glorious eats what i like to do is first put the healthy stuff on my plate okay create big portions of that say the green beans you know all the healthy veggies coming on the cob throw that on the plate make that the first plate you know what i'm saying typically people will pick the stuffing first throw a couple pieces of turkey on and just kind of fill up on the, all the bready things. 
that's fine like i said you do you it's the holiday season but what i like to do is just kind of eat like the vegetables first the healthier lighter foods this way it takes away the that crazy hunger and i don't devour all the heavy carbs so that is my rule of thumb you can either fill up a plate first with all the healthy stuff then grab your second plate with all the good stuff or the other option is to just simply check your portions kind of make sure you have more of the green than anything else you know what i'm saying so so that's a little hack i like to do is just kind of fill up on the good stuff and then i can indulge and not feel totally guilty and i'll feel a lot better afterwards not like you know what i'm saying all right tip number four i absolutely need to always bring water with me no matter where i'm going relatives house even my own place if i'm hosting for the holiday season water at all times what people don't realize is that there is a lot of sodium when it comes to the holiday season that high of sodium can really just affect how you feel overall can really bloat you out and really discourage you make you feel bad for eating and you don't want to do that okay it's a holiday season you want to indulge so what i like to do is just continue to drink a ton of water bring a big water bottle with you especially during the winter when everybody has their heat cranked up you don't realize how much it dries you out but it does it does the fireplace going don't get dried out girl the alcohol consumption if you're somebody who drinks alcohol that's also going to be dehydrating you so you got quite a few things you got the high sodium in the foods you got the heat and you got like the alcohol you got all that just drying you out so drink that water it'll reduce that bloat keep you feeling really good and energetic and not so you know what i'm saying okay last tip of the day something i do every single holiday without a doubt when i know i'm going to be eating a lot that day i work out first thing in the morning nothing crazy it's not gonna ruin your day. In fact, it's gonna do the opposite for you. So by working out in the morning time, you're actually burning more calories throughout the day. So after you work out for the next like hour or two, your body's naturally burning at a, at a higher rate than it normally would. You're upping your metabolism and everybody's metabolism is different by all means, but you are upping your metabolism slightly. So working out has all those different benefits, also helping you just feel happier, and you're more likely to naturally choose the healthier options after you've worked out. It's just a psychological thing, and it's just how the human body works. So I only take like 10, 15 minutes in the morning, do some HIIT exercises, get that blood pumping, get it going. You're gonna be sitting all day more than likely. <laughs> That's me, holiday season, I'm just on that couch watching movies and eating a lot. So it really does make a huge difference if you just get that like 10, 15 minute burst in the morning. You will feel so much better throughout the day and your body's gonna thank you, okay? Your body's gonna really be like, good thing you worked out, girl, cause I'm feeling it now. Well guys, that was it. Those were my top five tips of things that I kind of incorporate during the holiday season, just to be a little bit more healthier, a little more conscious of what I'm eating, what I'm putting in my body. Again, girl, I do indulge, believe it. This is by no means a video to make you feel guilty about eating on the holidays, cause girl, look at me. Okay. I eat everything that I want to eat on the holidays. That is my exception. I don't cur. I'm gonna eat it, okay? Cheesecake, cookies, all that stuff. These are just five tips that I like to kind of keep in the back of my mind just to help me out a little bit so that I'm not totally suffering after the holidays, you know? So it's good to just kind of keep some things in mind like this so that you don't completely fall off and then it makes it that much easier come the new year to kind of get yourself right back in it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped a few of you out there who are kind of like, excited for the holiday season but kind of like oh god i don't want to fall off because believe me i know that feeling so yeah comment down below if you guys have something that you like to do to kind of keep yourself in gear during the holiday season and let's chit chat also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos just like this every single week definitely more holiday videos to come cannot wait i'm in the spirit all right guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video Thank you.